Good morning. Today is the day for the Encontro Nacional de Drift, the the drift day. It's actually a weekend um, here in Portugal. Uh, we arrived yesterday. We were prepping the cars and whatnot. Um, two S14s. One has a CA18 that I drove last time. It's been modified since then with a fuel tech and a bigger turbo, and it's gonna. It has just just under 300 horsepower, so it should be a big difference from the stock CA18 that it was last time. And then Hui's car, which is a uh, S14 with an RB25, about 600 horsepower, pretty wild car. Um, we have about a two hour journey. It's uh, seven in the morning. We've got a, a, some driving to do, but just a quick look around the shop. This is the S13, S14, Nissan headquarters of Portugal. So let's go have a look at the cars. pretty normal in uh, the US like we pack up our trucks and trailers right and then we put all our stuff in the back of a truck well it, <clears throat> it's not that not that much different you have a trailer I call them the small wheel trailers it's got like 14 inch tires and wheels on it but uh, <clears throat> it's not that much different loading up the truck but this in this case it's a uh, it's a van it's actually done up where it's got a nice area inside but instead of uh, instead of using it for camping this weekend we Fill it full of tires, wheels, bumpers, all the parts, tools, everything needed for a weekend of drifting. And uh, this is pretty normal. Like people don't have pickup trucks in Europe. It's not normal to have a big Dodge, Ford, whatever pickup truck. People use vans. They use um, like SUVs, and it does fine pulling a trailer. I think in the U.S. we could we could learn a lesson from that. Using smaller vehicles to pull trailers. Not everybody needs a truck, but it is nice having a truck. It's pretty handy. We can't start it. Can't start a drift day in Portugal without. But they do not the, the best. They have a joke. This is a they call it Encontro Nacional de Drift, which is a, a how do you translate that? Encontro is like a meeting, a meeting, like a national drift meeting, which is really just a, it's an annual drift event. They do the same thing every year, and they have a running joke that every year that he plans it, doesn't matter the weekend, it always rains. <laughs> and it, was, it wasn't supposed to rain this weekend and then like the, maybe three or four days ago the the weather changed I mean it's Portugal's it's right on the it's right on the Atlantic coast and so the weather just like is always changing it can move in, in an instant so of course it wouldn't be a drift weekend without some rain so we'll see how that works out at least uh, all the tires we packed we probably won't even use half of them if that track here and we actually we're driving up a mountain and we're going through the clouds and like like it's really cool the backdrop here and this this track is actually like on a mountain we found a little spot to come see the track this is kind of like up on this hill the nice thing about this track is it looks like there's a lot of elevation so I think we're gonna start up here go down this hill it's hard to see the elevation from I think on the camera but uh, we have a big turn so one big turn we come back, transition, this will be a tight area for tandem, and then it kind of goes up and then back down. 
have a turn to the right there, which should be a little bit faster, and then to a hard right, um, which should be a really good slowdown point to catch up with tandem. And then this last corner, and then I think we end right here, and then we go back on this lane, up to the top, reset. So pretty simple three corners, but with this fast entry downhill, it's gonna be really, really fun. I'm excited about this. So since we're gonna be driving in the rain this weekend, um, we brought windshield wipers, but it's missing the arms for the windshield wipers. So this is actually a right-hand drive chassis that's been converted to left-hand drive. So we have to, we're using left-hand drive wiper arms on a right-hand drive chassis. So we don't know how it's gonna work out, but having something is better than nothing. So we gotta go get that all figured out. Okay. You're the one that said, you said follow the people and we're just making our own pathway. <laughs> yeah, they, they follow you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's time for the driver's meeting. We'll go see what's going on here. The cars are already, it's crazy. It's like dumping rain one second and then the next second it's dry. So that's, I imagine that's, that's how the whole day is gonna go. We got these cool, uh, what would you call it? It's not a trophy, it's just like a participation. Participation award, there you go, everybody gets one. It's just a drift day, it's not a competition. Um, I don't think the track will dry out today. I think it's gonna keep raining on and off all day. It's wet right now, even though it's sunny. So, I think that'll be good though. We'll see how it goes. Car's ready, we're all ready, so let's hit the track. This is where it's at, Trackside Food by Jefferson. This is awesome. We got eggs and bacon and bread and cheese. What? Farou. You said you don't want cheese on it. Farou. Can you put cheese on mine? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Just like American food. I didn't know you guys had eggs and bacon in Portugal. <laughs> we got the G-Spare banner. This is the, uh, uh, what I call it, the night drive. So if you guys want to buy it, I'll leave a link in the description below. Is it Portuguese style or is this just... Um, not really. It's, um... <laughs> it's just... It's, just what we it's the uh, Portuguese old saying Zimerdar. Zimerdar. <laughs> people at home will not know what that means, but Some it's okay. Will know. <laughs> Some people will know. Depends on where you live, right? Yeah. But hey, did it cut or not? It cut. You do the other side? <laughs> yeah, we'll do the other side. There's a wire here. Yeah, we gotta put the wire under. Hey! You want to cut the wire? No, we'll cut the wire. <laughs> The butcher of past freedom. Look at that. <laughs> it's just all the wire anyway. Look at that skill. Huh? Look at that. You know the Salt Bay yeah. guy? It's the, the blade. Oh, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We need the blade back so we can make lunch. <laughs>
I think now. And I've done uh, three leads or four leads. I just chased once, twice. This is our sixth lap. And so we're trying to mix it up. The track I'm comfortable with, no spin. Uh, the car feels good, everything's good. You can tell that he doesn't use his brakes because he's done six laps and there's still rust on his rotors. Drips down and flows in the river. Drip, drip, drip. I'm just going to mention that we did have a power steering leak earlier in the day and we were losing quite a bit of fluid the steering was getting stiff so multiple times throughout the day we had to actually fill up the fluid to keep the power steering working properly so in the middle of that first corner um i don't know done a bunch of laps it's a little bit more dry but it wasn't my first lap out i lost the front end and just like straight off the track Locked him up into the grass and then hit the wall. That's not how this is supposed to go. Oh, you 
filmed it. Obrigado. Já só apanhei, epá, desligou e eu depois quando, quando apanhei, olha, apanhei, apanhei já, sei. já não posso ir perceber. Porque é que, faz um diretor porquê? Não sei. Não, eu, eu sei. Eu sei. Eu sei. Eu sei. Eu sei. Eu não gosto de fazer desculpas hein, do carro. Não sei se foi ou não, mas. Não, mas eu digo que eu sei que o carro. Há ali um ponto que ele. Maybe. Maybe. Estou aqui, estou aqui. Que força, caralho. Estou aqui, calma. So this is about the time we figured out that the front control arm was bent. So when I hit the wall, the wheel actually hit after the front bash bar and that pushed the suspension arm back and luckily it didn't fold in half, it just folded enough where uh, we were able to drive the rest of the day without having to replace the arm. Toco or no toco nada? Você só está roto? Não, não está roto. Aqui. Aqui. Yeah. Fez força aqui para a frente? Parece um bocadinho. Não está muito a mão? Não. What's it touching? Something's touching. No? Touching something? No, 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 I'd say it's just a caliper. It's just a caliper, eh? It's just a caliper. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 The arm is bent. You see uh, where the tension rod goes, pulled against it, the arm went back that way, and so now not only is the arm bent, but the alignment is out. It's towed in for sure. So um, we can't change the arm, so what I'm going to do is try and adjust the toe, and hopefully the car will still work. Lunchtime is over, back to the track. Uh, Carlos went out and did some laps in this car, he said it's all good. Starting, I won't say it's drying out, but it's not as wet as it was. So I'm going to go find some people to drive with on the track. Back to the action, let's go. We just went out and had a session. We had some really good laps. <laughs> These two cars. 
We did the same thing a year ago. More. One year? Yeah. In all good years? One year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. And, uh, really good. Now that it's dry outside, the cars both have grip. No more uh, crashing. Just, no more. Just good. No more. Just good. There was there was one that uh that uh I messed up the line and I come across the track and and Huey was right there like Whoa. and we almost touched. What's going on over here? Yo yo yo! Let's check this car out. This is Alex. Um, he brought this car from the UK. Obviously, it's the best car here because first of all, it's reliable, even though it probably has an oil leak. Nah, it's pretty no, good, really? man. It's pretty good. It's a Toyota, man. It's because it's in the car that it came with. Yeah, exactly. Once you, once you take it out and put Absolutely. it in another car, once it starts leaking oil. Well. If yeah, you like, put it on an S13 or an S14, just good. I won't say problems. It just starts leaking oil every time. That's good. This car is really well. It seems like it's well set up. Yeah, absolutely. It transitions really well. Yeah. You obviously, you drive it really well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> getting a bit more confident now yeah. that the track is getting yeah. dry. We had a. Uh, yeah. We had a, a good incident. Uh, I think. We got stacked up or something, and then yeah. I transitioned, and he had to let me transition, and then Absolutely. we touched a little bit, and I was like, what just happened? I got distracted, and I yeah. ran over oh, like 10 I cones. I did touch you. I did touch you. You did, and then oh, I saw your bumper come off, and, gotcha. then, and then I ran over a bunch oh, of cones. Oh, oh my bad. No, I no, got was, a bit greedy, so I was good. like, I'll get yep, out of the way. Yep. But. No, it was perfect, right? Because yeah. like... The bumper's still good, so I just... One yeah, yeah, it's in one piece. Oh, yeah. The cable yeah. ties doing their job, just... Perfect. Lucky not to run it over. What do you call it? Self-releasing, self Yeah, exactly. Yep. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure. I wonder. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, and right here too. Is that from the bumper? Maybe. This needs to be relocated. That's what I'm wondering if when you came across, yeah. it hit the back tire. Nah. Oh. This is no, from I think it's oh, been this, there. This okay. already, yeah. It just touched a little bit right here. Yeah. This yeah, part's going to need to go here someday because this is not ideal. Yeah. This is how they all go though. It's the Japanese kit. Well, yeah. But then if you get this kind of, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, all good. Someone already had it right there though. It was a filter. This car actually, the joint is the stinger. What does it have? The competition the car did in Japan. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> look, in, look inside here. Where? Oh, the MSC challenge? Yeah. Oh, nice. This car was part of it. 2014. That's crazy. It's a really cool car. And the cage is built for uh, four seats. Yeah. Well, the car's built for four seats. It has mounts here in the back. Taxi style, yep. and it's set up to have harnesses in the back, and uh, even it's even got a, a little door bar for the back passengers. Exactly. This is like the perfect ride-along cage. Bon dia! It's day two of drifting, and today we've got fog, we've got bad weather, we've got rain, um, and it's pretty much the same as yesterday. So uh, the car, I bent the front arm. Um, the throttle position sensor stopped working yesterday, so they went back, grabbed the throttle position sensor, that's all fixed. The problem was, the car wouldn't start after shutting off with the TPS because it was showing 95%. So the ECU was going into flood clear, which is pretty normal on an ECU. You set it so you go full throttle, stops injecting fuel, and it, and, and it, it uh, flood clears if you have too much fuel, right? Well, so with the bad TPS, it was going into flood clear mode and it just wouldn't start. So it would run if it was already running, but once it got shut off with a bad TPS, it wouldn't restart. Anyways, that's all fixed. We got plenty of tires, um, and even with the bent arm, the car still drives. It's not perfect, but it's definitely good enough. And the other thing is the steering rack has a leak, so we just have to keep pouring oil in the uh, in the power steering all day long. So other than that, it should be a good day. We're just gonna go blast and have fun all day today. And then uh, I don't have much space left on my phone for recording, so I think today's just gonna be all GoPro footage. Let's go.
This is our meal for the day. We got some noodles, some pasta, some meat made by our Brazilian friend. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, in the microwave. Our, our Brazilian friend and our Chinese friend. <laughs> our two hour Portuguese lunch is over, so now it's time to get back on the track. We're gonna do some tandem trains, a couple more laps. This is always when things go wrong. We got, I think, five, five to 10 cars lined up to do uh, some crazy tandem trains. I'm predicting right now that something's gonna go wrong. Something's gonna go wrong. I just hope nobody's car gets wadded up too bad. Let's go. Dedicated out in the rain. Make sure and put your bumper on. Make sure and get ready. This is crazy. If you guys don't follow this guy, make sure and follow him. He uh, he lives in the UK and comes to Portugal and has a cool car, at least one. And then this guy. You guys know this guy. He was on Drift Week with me. Hello guys. Car Kingdom. All the vlog and all the vlog. All the vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What just happened? He have a nice car. Oh god. The Nissan. The Nissan just broke. So yeah, anyway. Let's share the YouTubers. Everybody's 
Everybody's filming something. That's it. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, we are on to a different thing already. I'm just finishing editing this video. What a good time. I can't wait to show you guys what else we have in store. A lot of cool stuff happening on this trip. But I got to give a big shout out to my buddy, Hui Pintu. He's the one that made this trip happen for us. Um, I crashed his car. He's still kind of mad at me about that. No, I know. We're going to go drive again this weekend. It's going to be I a really great time. I'm vacation, so I am advanced. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos crashed the car four times. I crashed it once. So I've got three more until I catch up to Carlos. <laughs> but the car is so much better. I can't believe it. Last time I drove it, it didn't have the ECU, the fuel tech. Um, it didn't have the big turbo, the wastegate, all that stuff. It's a completely different animal. I can't wait to drive it in the dry and just see whew, how good it is. But um, thanks for watching this video. We'll be on to the next one. We're still having some fun stuff. I'm not even going to tell you what we're up to right now. But we got some cool... Oh, uh, you can't see it. Dang it. But we got some cool stuff. More content coming. So we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.